The Onri community from morning to evening has been thrown into a state of mourning following the death of the late Deputy Finance Minister John Kuma, who died on 7th March 2024. The one week funeral observation was graced by Vice President Dr. Mamudu Baumia, former Finance Minister Ken Oforiata, Education Minister Yao Adutrim, traditional leaders among several others. The family used the one week funeral rite to announce 18th May 2024 as the date for the final funeral rite of the late Ejiso Member of Parliament. Former Finance Minister Ken Oforiata, whom the late MP deputized in the Finance Ministry, described John Kuma as a young man who was fully committed to his responsibility in the ministry, equating him to his late father. It's a very sad and shocking moment and it's quite an existential experience sitting here that John is no more. John, I worked with him from 2021 and really energy, passion, dynamic, someone you could trust. Um, it's just very difficult for me. Um, and he did remind me of my dad who was also Deputy Minister in the 70s. And um, they used to describe dad as young, dynamic and fearless. And that was what I saw in John. Passionate about the country, very concerned about his constituents and very focused on creating jobs you know, for the youth. Um, so it's a real tragedy and um, it's, it's irreplaceable and we hope that um, we also will look after his family to make sure that um, the legacy is continued. Minister of Works and Housing, could you upon Kuma, also have this to share about the late Ejiso MP. I think John is one of the most um, affable and committed persons to uh, first of all, the responsibility of representing his constituency and also when the president assigned him extra responsibilities as um, a deputy minister of uh, finance, very committed to that. Even in the most difficult times, on his feet at every point in time, battling for the cause and for the new patriotic party. And beyond that, he's such a nice and sweet uh, person. It's a major loss to the MPP as a family, the people of Ajusso, uh, the finance ministry to government and to Ghana um, as a whole and that's why you see all of us here to join the family uh, on a day like this. We all don't know how much time we have and so for the little opportunity and time that we have we should just make our mind up to do our very best and make a mark where we've been given an opportunity to serve. That's what John did and I believe that's what we should all do. The national organizer of the new patriotic party who spoke on behalf of the party national executive said the MP was fully committed to his parliamentary responsibilities. A committed member, a rising star for the Ejusso township and the Ejusso constituency. They've lost a huge figure. That is why the entire constituency is mourning. I mean, his dedication to work was just phenomenal. His commitment towards his, you know, the duties that he had was simply amazing. You know, he was the first CEO for the National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Plan. And you could see what he did there. And then he got a promotion to be Deputy Minister in Charge of Finance. Fantastic. So I think that um, it's rather unfortunate but God knows best. So for the new patriotic party, um, we are we are deeply, you know, saddened by his demise.